All right, so today I'm just doing some simple zero to 60 testing uh, using an app that I've got both on my phone and the, um, the tablet that I have mounted to my center console. So um, basically, when I bought this car, uh, I was impressed with the performance. And then, I don't know, several software updates into ownership, the car seemed to slow down a bit. And there was a little bit of discussion online about that. And did Tesla slow the cars down or not? Well, I kind of get the impression that they did. Uh, didn't really bother me that much. I use this car primarily for transport uh, to clients for my business. A lot of times I'll have equipment in the trunk and, and also up in the front trunk. And so, you know, I didn't want things moving, you know, kind of rattling around in the car, but it did still in the back of my mind bother me that uh, Tesla apparently slowed the cars down. So with this latest software update, it appears as though they added power to the cars, so I wanted to go out and test it. The fastest I've ever seen, uh, 0 to 60, on this, um, this app that I use was 4.96 seconds. But admittedly, I only saw that once. Generally, it was, it was 5.1 seconds every single time, which was exactly the way Tesla uh, you know, uh, advertised the car. But uh, when they slowed it down, I did try it a couple of times and I was seeing 5.4 to 5.6 seconds depending on the temperature of the battery. So, um, sorry for the wiggling around, I'm just filming with my, my phone here. But anyway, so today I wanted to take it out and do some more testing and uh, see what we come up with. So, let's get to it. So, I am at, um, I'm doing some acceleration testing and right now I am at 80% state of charge and um, I have the car emptied of all equipment. Uh, let's see here, I just did one zero to 60 run and it was 4.99 seconds. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a couple more just to show you guys. I've got a car behind me right now, but. All right, here we go. So we'll do a zero to 60 run. All right, three, two, one, here we go. Five seconds flat on that one. So, yep, car's pulling pretty well. Definitely thrilled with it. All right, so I've got slip start enabled. I'm at 80% state of charge. The car is emptied from of as much weight as possible. Got the tires set at uh, proper pressures. So let's see here, zero to 60, here we go. Five point zero two, so it's pretty consistent, right around five seconds flat. So again, I um, so again, I use um, I enable slip start, and um, you want to charge the car above eighty percent, and um, yeah, you can go ahead and um, do some of your own testing. And I don't know how accurate the this app is, but. Uh, it seems to be about right based on um, other cars that I've I've raced against with known zero to 60 times. So, yeah, pretty good. Well, so there you go. You can see that I was uh, I'm above 80% state of charge. Have slip start enabled. Uh, the reason for that is um, in case you have a little bit of wheel spin, it. Uh, I've just I've found that I get slightly better acceleration that way. This is a long range rear wheel drive car and uh, tire slip does tend to occur. Uh, it is 52 degrees Fahrenheit outside. Basically what I did in this instance, I have the tire pressures set, uh, what's you know pretty good for the car, the high 40s, 47 PSI. Um, setting the tire pressure a little bit lower does not help, but I have found that if it's too high, if it's over 50 PSI, I lose a little bit of acceleration. But um, slip start is enabled, it's 52 degrees out, I charge the car up, and what I would do is I was accelerating with the car hard and then decelerating, accelerating and decelerating to warm up the battery, then I drove the car back home, plugged it back in to charge it up a little bit more, and then took it out, and uh, with a warm battery, nicely charged, as little weight in the car as possible, and with this new 5% power uh, increase from Tesla on the uh, uh, the latest software update and um, 
So you can see I was seeing five seconds flat pretty much every run. So anyway, simple, quick video today, but thanks a lot, guys, for watching. Also, the referral program is back in force, so my refer referral code will be a link in the description below. Thanks. Bye-bye.